welcome back to Anna goes and sees a show, or in this case a pro shot, um, and then talks about it later. Uh, yeah, this is the <laughs> the odd bit of theatre content I do on my channel. Um, today is Waitress, as you see from the title of this video. Um, I'm going to Bolton to the light cinema um, to see the pro shot of Waitress the Musical, starring Sarah Bareilles, who wrote the thing, and who, uh, who then played Jenna on Broadway and then in the pro shot. So, you know, this, this is all gonna be- well, she didn't just play on Broadway, she did like stints all over the place um, as Jenna. But yeah, no, I'm really excited to see this. I've loved Waitress. This show has meant so much to me, uh, especially when I got out of my abusive relationship. It was like the first thing that I was listening to uh, really and it just, it just really helped me um, through that time. So yeah, the show means a lot to me. It's the first time I'm like seeing like a full production of it. Um, and yeah, no, I'm really excited. Uh, it's gonna be like a little like mini vlog. So it's just gonna be like a lot of B-roll of what I get up to um, in Bolton. And then we're going to do like a bit of a, a review afterwards. So yeah, enjoy the vlog and I guess skip to this time if you want the review. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't actually vlog anything. Um, I was rushed, okay? Oops. Anyway, let's talk about it because I still watched it and it was still incredible. So let's do a little bit of a review here, okay? Hi, how we doing? Okay. <laughs> this show, as I said it in this morning, means so much to me, okay? Having, as I talk about quite a lot um, on this channel and my Instagram, I experienced an abusive relationship myself. Not to the extent of uh, what's portrayed in Waitress. Obviously, Earl is physically abusive as well as emotionally abusive. I just experienced the emotional abuse. <laughs> um, so it wasn't quite to the same extent. However, when Jenna learning what love is and learning through Dr. Pometer what life can be and having her eyes open to that is something I can relate to. Um, and that's why this show means so much, so, so much to me really is that journey of realization of learning what how to find freedom and getting out of abuse that show was something it was the first show i listened to first kind of music i listened to when i got out of my abusive relationship and it really calmed me because i was so panicked at the time i was so just like lost and this show grounded me you Matter To Me specifically that song is the first piece of music or anything to ever nearly bring me to tears <laughs> um, and watching that scene the whole thing I mean obviously I didn't really know the full context of that scene before today and oh my god <laughs> I was so moved the whole time and I was like this is perfect this is exactly just perfectly encaptures the song Drew Gaelic his portrayal of Palmer and just the chemistry he had with Sarah Bareilles was absolute perfection. I didn't really know because obviously Sarah Bareilles wrote the show, she, you know, obviously she didn't write the, the storyline, um, it's based on a film. She wrote the music, the lyrics to make her a stage production and she was stunning as Jenna, you know, sometimes it's a bit <laughs> like er, when it comes to like main mainstream kind of pop artists like acting or being kind of star casting but she was stunning. Obviously her voice fit the material very well obviously because she wrote it um, and she was able to play around with some of the vocalizations and in such a beautiful way so <laughs> sometimes when people kind of change riffs or licks in songs or chi timings or whatever it can annoy me a little bit but with her it was like nah girl you you do what you want to do you're handling this brilliantly um and she was just she was just stunning um, and as I say, just Drew Gaelic. <laughs> this is now going to become a Drew Gaelic fan account. Because um, that man is just, oh my god. <laughs> that man is perfection. This is a bit of a spoiler, but like when he was saying to Jenna, like, I'm a bit neurotic and like, you calm me down. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's just, and obviously that's right before you matter to me. So it's just like, this, this show, this show. <laughs> If you have a chance to see, because I know it's only show being shown in like select cinemas, and I don't know if it's really like accessible, at least in the UK. I know it's on like Broadway World or whatever, like the streaming services for pro shots. I know it's on there. So if you manage to get like a VPN and sign up to that, then fair enough. Um, but if you have a chance to see it like in a cinema, just do. 
if you haven't actually seen it on stage, you know, I know I, I know I missed the opportunity to see it when it was on tour and obviously when it was in the West End. And I, that, that sucks. I would have loved to have seen it on stage, but now seeing this pro shot and it just, and also like the way the, the ca like they play around with the cameras and the choreography is stunning and the way they kind of, use like zooming in on some of the characters and just like the way the way that it's filmed is also so good yeah no this <laughs> this show will forever have a very special place in my heart God, it's so good i'm so glad that i've seen it now i'm not going to spoil it too much because i'm sure we all kind of know the storyline uh, but i just wanted to add like a few thoughts here about just why the show means so much to me and why i relate to it and just why you should all see it <laughs> just just for Drew Gaelic, because that, that man is perfection. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am gonna go. I have a much bigger video coming fairly soon um, about basically top fashion pieces that I found personally on like my self-confidence journey that have really helped me kind of unlock my femininity. And if people are on that kind of journey of finding your personal style, I think that's also gonna really help you. So stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna try and do more theatre content. I've got some covers in the works. Uh, I don't know if, if, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might know that I got like a proper microphone. I got like a sure one, like a proper like handheld dynamic microphone. Um, I've been doing a few covers, playing around with Garage Band and doing that all that stuff, which has been really fun. So I've got a few coming um, on that. I'm gonna try and like um, do it in order of like the covers that I've already done, like from years past. If you, I do have a playlist of my covers on my channel if you wanna go and look back at baby me <laughs> singing some musical theater songs. Uh, but basically I'm gonna like redo them um, and I'm in the process of doing that at the moment. So hopefully they're gonna be coming out fairly soon. But yeah, I do love talking about theater on my channel. I don't do it enough. Um, and I just thought, cause I'm doing this today, I just thought I would drop this in here as a little cute, little mini video little bonus um, <laughs> but yeah uh, as i say stay tuned for the, bigger, for the bigger content go see waitress just go see waitress okay <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one